Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we're looking at Azur Kamara. We got a double feature today, so stay tuned for that. Then we got the bonus, bonus footage on the back end where we have a conversation about these guys, so be sure to stay tuned. But uh, right now we're looking at Azur Kamara. Uh, the, he's the defensive right edge guy, outside linebacker dude, and I think it's very interesting what we could do with him depending on the actual scheme that we're, you know, that we're running. Uh, I'm going to show this game from Oklahoma because it wasn't a whole bunch of Kansas film for me to go find. Uh, plus, I got some senior bowl footage, and we're you know, we're just going to talk, you know, talk y'all through it or whatever. But the one thing I get from uh, Kamara, though, right, first of all, like he, he's long. He tall as hell. He like 6'4", 230 or so, 81-inch uh, wingspan, bro. Like that's almost John Jones. So if you think about if this defense is trying to get taller and longer and he's a 4'5", 9'40 guy, if the defense is trying to get taller and longer, what can he provide for you? And I think he's a really raw player. You take a look at him there. He has raw strength. He has naturally long arms or whatnot, right? He just may not know um, exactly what to do as a pass rusher. Now, I think Kansas, you know, plays terrible defense schematically or whatnot, and Azur Kamara was probably the best player on his team. Um, so I'm not going to get into a lot of the nuance of, of what was happening in these games. Cause they'll just run away from him. They'll just send blocks his way. But, um, uh, what you got from Missouri Kamar is very raw, raw power, raw length. You just got to teach him how to use his superpowers. Look at this, man. Look at how long this dude, he looks like a safety out there. He looks like a cornerback, you know? Now I, I don't want y'all to come asking me, should he play safety? Cause everybody trying to put anybody at safety. Not necessarily that, but I'm looking at Azur Kamar. Uh, you know, he's probably going to end up like 240 once this thing is over with. I see him as a Sam linebacker. We'll talk more about that later. But just a guy that can come in that can give you something in coverage. He got some nice movement skills. Y'all can look that up when you watch film on your own. Um, pretty nice movement skills to where he can move in coverage long enough to make plays on the football if you need him to. Um, but he also gives you some kind of pass rush. And most of the time when we talk about these raw project guys or whatever, we're, you know, we're talking about a guy that that normally has some traits that may not know how to fully pass rush just yet, you know. So, you know, depending on what, you know, coach he ends up with, I'd imagine he's going to be with the linebackers coach. And then when it's time for him to pass rush, Tom Sula come grab him and, you know, show, show him some pass rush stuff. But if you could teach him how to use his length, and how to use his quickness and his um, four five forty and his like natural dog ability or whatever you can get something out of him, man. Take a look at this play. He's gonna be pretty heads up and aware on this one. Um, it's gonna be a handoff to the running back and it's gonna be like a reverse with C.D. Lamb, but he's gonna stay patient. He could like cut real tight and tear the running back's head off or whatever, but he's going to stay patient, get the angle, and read that CeeDee Lamb's coming back on the backside. Um, this is some Dallas on Dallas crime right here, but I ain't going to say nothing, though. So let's take a look at this. This is what I mean by nuance and, and pass rushing and just some techniques that he can learn. And if you're a young defensive end playing football or something, uh, you can take out your notepad. You might learn something new today. Take a look at Azur Kamara versus uh, this Throckmorton here from, uh, from Oregon here, okay? Now, in my mind, this is a loss because, you know, you know, you just kind of got washed wide and the quarterback could just, you know, run away. Now, Azur Kamara, how did you attack Throckmorton right here? Boom, boom, boom. You kind of got to feel hands inside. I don't hate that because you did two things. First of all, you got hands inside. You got a hold of that jersey. Plus, if you're going to give uh, a super upfield rush to this tackle's outside hip, all that is fair game. The problem is your your second wave of moves. If you're going to lure somebody that far outside, let me show y'all what he did. Boom, 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 boom. You created this, this room inside to take. So if I'm Kamara, I'm pulling cloth. I'm attacking Throckmorton's inside hand to get back inside because he's giving you that space. Um, but what Kamara ends up doing is just rushing to the outside. Now, if you want to rush outside, then you would – bring that down a little bit you will line up a little closer to him uh to engage sooner so that you can have a little more outside room to navigate um you know like i said it wasn't it, like it wasn't a bad start you know i just think that your secondary move wasn't you know wasn't the best also do y'all see how almost straight his legs are and how long his arms are like he's damn near standing up he could just bend over touch the ground that's length bro that is length all right, cool. And here's another angle of it. We're not going to be here too, too long, but just take a look at all this space that he see all this space that he that he started off with. You lined up this wide to create 
more space, right? Like if you would have if you would have wanted to attack the outside, you should have cut this thing down closer to Throckmorton's left foot here. But the fact that you were so wide, you wanted to go for a wide attack. If you're attacking wide, Throckmorton has to defend wide, and it worked. Throckmorton defended his ass wide, but do you see all this inside space that you've created for yourself, right? So I guess once Kamara gets an understanding of creating space uh, with pass rushing or whatever, he would understand that damn, I got to get back inside when I when I when I create room like this. So it seemed like every day of senior bowl practice, they made Azure go up against Throckmorton. So I mean, that's cool there. Uh, let's take a look at this play. Uh, what did I have in my notes for this right here? All right, cool, 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 cool. What I just say, you you have got to defeat the outside hand, right? That's going to be your course of action. If you're going to go outside, then you need to get that hand up off of you. So Kamara's really good at this, though, man. He's really good at getting his hands inside and attacking because he got those long arms. And with that arm length, you're basically keeping guys off of you. But um, at some point, you've got to get that hand up off you, and we see him doing that now. You can see Kamara uh, getting his hand in there to defeat Throckmorton's outside hand. And when you're able to do that, you kind of free yourself up a little bit. I get his rep to Alzer Kamara. So this is some bonus footage. We have another um, player that was in the Senior Bowl and got a lot of Senior Bowl practices in, and a lot of people were, were kind of in – inquisitive about him or they were inquiring about him uh Terrence Steele the uh offensive tackle and um trust me man Vash loves his offensive lineman man and, and if you come to Vash Lombardi for some offensive line work we can absolutely get into that I just want to run down a couple reasons why I'm not a big fan of Terrence Steele I think he lost every single rep that he uh that he lined up in in the senior bowl let's take a look at Terrence Steele uh in this rep here versus that's uh Jonathan Grenard let's take a look at uh Terrence Steele your right tackle here. let's 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 see what he does here Let's see what he does versus Jonathan Grenard. Damn. And then move him and Jonathan Grenard to the other side. Let's see what happened. Boy. Terrence Steele at left tackle. Let's see what he does. Mm, boy. That's holding. <laughs> One more time. Terrence Steele at left tackle versus Marlon Davis in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jesus. Let's take a look at Terrence Steele versus Terrell Lewis. Let's see, we, see if we get a little something different here. Terrence Steele at right tackle. Let's see what we do versus the Alabama's Terrell Lewis, Mike Tyson. Oh, not enough. I mean, it's a little better, but let's let's take a look at this angle. <laughs> let's see if this angle is any better. He's standing up in his stands right now. All right, cool, cool. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at this angle. Nah, you right in the quarterback's lap. Never mind. Oh, then there's another angle of him versus Terrence. No, this is a whole another rep. Hold on. Let's see what happened here. What happened on this rep? You get driven to the quarterback again? Yeah, okay. Damn, Terrence Steele. Well, let's see Terrence Steele on this play. Okay, he was just moving out the way so the guard can go. But if somebody was there, they probably would have whooped Terrence Steele. Let's take a look at Terrence Steele at right tackle versus Terrell Lewis again. Let's see what happens. Maybe something different happens. You know, maybe he uh, learned from his le – no? Wow, all right then. Well, let's see Terrence Steele versus Jabari Zuniga, the other Florida pass rusher. Okay, well, Florida undefeated against Terrence Steele right now. Jeez. Anybody else? What about this kid versus Terrence Steele? No? What you got for me, Terrence Steele? How about this play? What a, well, what about this one? It's a little better, but you know, I don't know. You still ended up right in the quarterback lap, boy. You almost ended up, boy. You, you almost ended up behind the center. It's my Toledo guy. You almost ended up behind the center. God damn, boy. Boy, you was about to take some snaps. You were so close to Lord, Lord Cushenberry, boy. You, boy, hey, go another rep. Let's see what happens here. Where's my kid from Toledo? Shh. Toledo kid ain't even that big to be running through you like that, Terrence Steele. Damn. <sighs> well, Terrence Steele versus. <sighs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. No more. That's enough. All right, one more time for Terrence Steele, and we gonna wrap up. <laughs> one more time for Terrence Steele, and we gonna wrap up. That was a little better on that play, but anyway, listen, man. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of Terrence Steele, bro. Uh, but hey, he was an undrafted guy. We got him for free. Um, if you want to just take a flyer on him, you know, see what he'll develop into, then, you know, by all means, you can take all your chances, roll your little dice in the bathroom and shoot your little shot, playboy. Uh, I just don't project Terrence Steele to being one of those guys. Now, this is for the information portion um, of our little show here. Y'all know we like to just sit around and talk. So if you only came for the film, I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Salute to all my Patreon people, my, Patre my PayPal people, my Cash App people. Um... 
uh, merch gang and all that. Salute to y'all. Follow me on Twitter and all that. But for those of you that are here to stay for the bonus conversation. So uh, clearly, I think a little higher of Azur Kamara than I do Terrence Steele. Azur Kamara, especially in this defense to where we may get pass rusher standing up. We may get defensive end standing and doing, um, you know, weak side rusher things, you know, or if we um, – have a weak side rusher than our Sam linebacker could be a blitzing pass rusher type of guy. I think there's a lot of opportunities for Azur Kamara when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to preseason training camp, you know, where he's going to line up some of the opportunities that he's going to get. I think it's going to be a very interesting um, um, camp battle or whatever. Like I said earlier, he, you know, he has the advantage of, of going going up against guys that weren't recruited by this administration. You know, we didn't sign many, um, many linebackers in the offseason. So the only Mike McCarthy linebacker acquisitions are the, uh, the undrafted guys, whether it be Francis Bernard and um, Azur Kamara. So, you know, can Azur Kamara come in and be better than Justin March? You know, we'll see. I think he's he's directly competing with Jalen Jokes right now because if Jalen Jokes doesn't work out at defensive end, I think a lot of people are putting him in a conversation where he could possibly be a Sam linebacker guy. And Jalen Jokes is another tall as, you know, edge pass rushing linebacker type dude. So that's interesting there. Um but I do think highly of Azur Kamar. I just think he's in- incredibly raw right now, but I do think he has the tools. I would love to have him as a practice squad guy, just a guy we can hold on to. He just hang around and we'll teach him how to use his hands, teach him how to use his length and how to use his four or five speed because that's what you do with, with players, you know, that you kind of acquired in this range. And they're 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 all traits guys. And you take traits trait guys and you teach them corresponding traits and you see how well uh, how well they improve over the years or whatever. So I'm look. I'm interested to see what we get from Azur Kamara. Terrence Steele, not so much. If you line Azur Kamara up against Terrence Steele, he's probably just gonna smoke him at practice, and Terrence Steele will get cut in a few weeks. Um, the difference is, I do think Azur Kamara can compete with Jalen Jokes and you know guys like March Lillard and Franz Bernard in his own class. The problem with Terrence Steele is, you know, can he come in and compete with Mitch Hyatt, or can he come in and compete with Brandon Knight? And I don't think the answer is. I, I think the answer is no, because Mitch Hyatt was a more decorated college player than him. He was just a better college player. Um, plus, he got an offseason under his belt. Um, and the same for uh, for Mitch Hyatt. All those things. Plus, he's actually played in the National Football, Ge- Football League game before. Uh, and even on top of all that, I just don't think Terrence Steele is all that good, man. So that's even, even more unfortunate or whatever. But it is what it is there. Uh, I ain't going to hold y'all too long, man. Just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out on these two guys, man, Azur Kamara and Terrence Steele. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think in the chat box. I'm probably reading the comments laughing at what y'all think about Terrence Steele, but I want to know what y'all think about Azur Kamara. So, hey, man, y'all hold it down for the Dosky Woski Peace Whiskey, man. Until next time, uh, we're, we got a soliloquy coming next week and uh, a couple more live streams coming. So, y'all stay tuned, man. Salute. Yep. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.